All right. So I'm gonna grab some ferric chloride and we're gonna do some dark. To show you guys how I go about this, it's pretty simple. Uh, just a cap full of ferric chloride, a couple of Q-tips, and some Windex for neutralizing um, is the easiest way I've found to do it. This is the ferric that I use, uh, works really well. Typically, a uh, ferric chloride water mixture gives you a better um, etch. So if you're etching a knife blade or something like that, I've used ferric chloride and uh, vinegar. Uh, I've used a few other mixtures, but this, this tends to be about the, the best. Um, this is just straight ferric, and this is what I use for uh, just doing the uh, edge touch-up and stuff like that. Um, now this handle's already polished. It's already got uh, lots of layers of uh, green rouge and stuff like that on it. So it's pretty well protected. We don't have to worry about uh, the ferric chloride doing any damage to the wood. Um, now if it were raw and still really porous, uh, I wouldn't be doing this without pr first protecting the wood on both sides. Um, so just kind of a side note for that. So what I do, I just kind of roll the Q-tip in the ferric chloride and then simply brush down the tang. It's really just that easy. Uh, and you can see it's already starting to darken there. It's gonna get pretty black before it's over. Um, If I'm not mistaken, ferric chloride only works on carbon steels. Uh, I don't think ferric works on stainless or anything like that. So if you were hoping to use this to darken a stainless knife, I don't think it's going to work. I'm pretty sure anyway. Now, I didn't need to do this piece out here, but I do want it to all look like it's um, done at the same time. So another coat there is not going to hurt anything. Same thing with the underside here. There was a small section that I didn't need to do, um, but I want it to all look the same, so we do it anyway. You don't have to use too much. A little bit goes a long way. Um, just make sure that you don't get it on the edge, because if you get it on the edge and the edge is already sharpened, this will remove it. Ferric chloride is an acid, so it will kill your sharpened edge. Found this out the hard way, folks. Take my advice. All right, standard Windex, nothing fancy. Use this, neutralizes the acid. So just spray down the whole thing. You don't have to worry about getting it on the wood or nothing like that. Like I said, it's already been polished, so I'm not super concerned. All right. Now, obviously I want to get this neutralized acid off my table. That. You don't want to let it sit too long. Once you've neutralized it, you want to get, uh, get everything wiped down really good. Uh, you don't want that acid to have a lasting effect or, or darken. or It'll even start to rust, believe it or not. Kind of give you an effect that you're not after. So... Now, the thing about using this method, it does kind of give you a, a random pattern, uh, meaning it's not even, it's not flush, it's not perfect. It doesn't darken the same all the way around, but that's fine. Um, that, that doesn't bother me. 
uh, and typically the, the customers that I sell to are very pleased with the patterns that I come up with. So as you can see, that tang is now darkened all the way around. Looks really good, pretty consistent. And that, uh, that portion of this blade is, is done. Now, before it goes out, this knife will be uh, etched with my maker's mark. Uh, and I use an electrochemical process for that. So we'll get my maker's mark on there and we'll get the handle polished back up, make sure it's bright and shiny and no fingers touch it before the owner. Um, I use typically just uh, like a latex or a rubber glove or whatever and make sure that there's no fingerprints on it before it goes out. Um, and honestly, I, I don't know, I, I think it means something to the customer to, you know, that their fingerprints to them are the first ones that touch that knife. So um, I try to, I try to be courteous like that. So, all right, this guy's done with the ferric chloride. I'm gonna move that one out. Time for this guy. So, the sharpened edge is already on this one, same as it was the other one. I don't like to put that fine point down on the steel table, so you can see I got it resting on a piece of scrap kydex here. And the same as the other one, we just brush the ferret down the tang, down the spine of the knife. Super simple. And with this one being as large as it is, um, it should have plenty of time to darken by the time I get all of it done. And we'll be able to neutralize right away. Now you can see all the black on that Q-tip, that's steel. That's the steel that this ferric chloride is removing. So I'm gonna be mindful of that. Now, unlike a lot of acids, uh, ferric's not quite as dangerous if you get it on your your fingers or whatever um, wouldn't be like a hydrochloric type stuff. Um, it doesn't react the same to human skin, or not that I found. Um, but typically, if I do get it on me, uh, I'll just spray my hand with some Windex and um, wipe it off good, and I don't have any issues. So, just a little FYI on the ferric chloride. Now, I was just speaking of uh, other acids. If you wanna etch your blade, there are multiple different ways to do it. A couple of ways that I've done it. Number one is this ferric chloride that I'm using now. Um, number two, I've used a muriatic acid. I've also used uh, muriatic acid and steel wool. It dissolves and then uh, you add some peroxide to it as well. I can't remember the exact blend uh, that's required uh, but you can look on YouTube and find that blend um, and then you could also use vinegar you can use mustard basically anything with an acidic content will darken steel so all right now that guy's done um, now some of you are probably thinking oh, that acid just ran down that blade it's probably gonna dull it up and you know what it may but that's okay because we got final sharpening to do on this guy before it leaves the shop anyway. So not super concerned. All right, let's set this guy off to the side. Let's get this uh, acid off our table. Now, typically with acid, you know, if you've ever handled it, if you get some on your skin, you start to feel that, uh, feel slimy like you've got something slimy between your fingers. Um, once you hit it with the Windex, that slime feeling will go away because it neutralizes the, uh, the acid. All right, got that. that stuff off the table. Take our clean rag here and just wipe down our knife.
And we did get a little bit um, when we were neutralizing. We did get a little bit kind of run down the edge. And that's okay. Like I said, it's not a big deal. We got a final sharpening to do on these things anyway. Um, so we'll get that tuned back up before it leaves. And again, this handle's also been highly polished. It's got a bunch of layers of uh, polish and stuff in it. I wouldn't do that if it were porous still. Um, so that's it, guys. That's it for the etch or the, uh, the tang and spine darkening of these two blades. Um, drop me a comment. Um, follow, like. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's anything out there that you would like to see me do next. Um, going to be putting a few more videos up today, so I hope you guys hop over and check all those out. I uh, would greatly appreciate a follow and a like, and uh, thanks for watching. You guys have a badass day.